mind, yeah, I do this all the time Yo, wake up in the morning, go get a state of mind I done feel so many times, but I gotta keep trying I ain't giving up, nigga, put it all on the line, yo If you are new to my channel, welcome Please go to my page Go all the way over to About section Click on that and read the description That way you know what my channel is about I am simply documenting my journey and hopefully inspire you to be your own boss. I also have referral links at the bottom and thanks for subscribing. All right, what is up y'all? Today is August 3rd and God is good and all the time. I know y'all said it. I know at least a hundred of y'all said it. Y'all know what to say. Man, I'm so happy, man. Uh, so yesterday, um, I did my delivered order that I told y'all about. Um, I didn't record. I actually, that was my only job yesterday. I actually didn't really feel that well yesterday. Um, but uh, I just did that job in the morning. Uh, the pickup was at 10, 10.35. I got there at exactly, I think it was 10.22 to be exact. And the other driver was was already there. It was two, uh, two young ladies, very nice young ladies. Uh, we helped each other out. Uh, they helped me load my van up. I actually could have took everything. They had a little small car, a little, little sedan. Um, they took like, probably like 10 or 12 bags of salad. And then I took all the pizza, all the heavy stuff. Um, and uh, it just worked out perfect. They was there on time. I was there on time. We followed each other up there. Uh, did the drop off. So I made 125 on that. I ended up going back to uh, Harbor Freight. I had bought some tires, some uh, big, large wheels for the new dolly that I bought, but uh, they just didn't fit right. So I ended up taking them back. I was going to exchange them, but I decided to just keep, uh, just get my money back. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get those big tires. So uh, I did that, and I went and picked up my other. I had some more uh, business cards made at Office Depot, so I picked those up, and then um, I went home and rest because, like I said, I wasn't feeling too good. I had a little headache. So I'm good now. I'm excited. I actually got a got booked on Tasker for today. So I'm going to that right now. Uh, it's eight o'clock. Uh, my job starts at eight thirty, and it's a pregnant woman. She some there's an issue with her apartment. She's on. I want to say she's on the first floor, and uh, I don't know if there was some flooding or something that happened, but she needs help taking her sofa to upstairs she's uh she's uh one floor above her uh apartment so that's all i'm doing just moving the couch first floor to second floor so that's my first tasker job and then i also got so as i was uh finishing my delivered order yesterday taking the very last bag in bam i get this one right here so they sent me another one for today same uh time 10 35 pick up this one's at outback steakhouse same drop off back to the school again so um that's how my day gonna start this morning and uh my wife is doing my dealer's route and that's pretty much it man i don't know i kind of uh i'm in a great mood because uh i told you guys um at the beginning of one of my last videos that i had a very important meeting that i'm trying to and a son i'm trying to get um what do you call it? I'm basically, I'm trying to get a higher rating for my uh, military benefits. Well, I'm gonna just tell you, it went great. So um, my passive income will be increasing and that's all I'm gonna say on that. So uh, I'm just excited, man, making moves. Uh, I got another tasker job pending. Somebody requested me yesterday for a move for this Saturday. And then, um, I have two dolly scheduled for Friday, so I like it, man. That's how I want. I want to fill up my calendar and just have work already lined up. So, like, I don't even. I'm trying to get to the point where I don't have to rely on gig apps, but. Um, so, anyways, uh, let me go get this tasker done and see how the day goes. All right, man. I'm here. I'm about to knock this job out. Probably not gonna record uh, inside, but like I said, we're just moving a sofa from uh, first floor to second floor. So I'll, I'll take a like a still shot picture of it so you can see, but it should be pretty easy in and out. All right, y'all, I'm all done with that job. It was really quick. Uh, it took probably about less than 10 minutes. 
So, like I said, the apartment was on the first floor right there, that first door on the left. I took photos too, so you can see. And we just walked it up one flight, one straight flight of stairs. And the, the second apartment was right above it. So, uh, it, was two, it was a sectional couch in two pieces. We just took it apart. We dollied it to the stairs, carried it up one flight, dollied it on into the, uh, the room. Easy money, easy work. Uh, the manager here is uh, it's an apartment complex, only two floors. Uh, she uh, wanted my card and she said that she will be calling me again uh, because she has uh, four dishwashers to pick up. And she says she uses TaskRabbit all the time. So uh, she has my info. And again, like I said, I like, I like TaskRabbit because you can uh, build your clientele with it. It helps you connect with customers. So another win right here, easy money. All right, y'all, uh, just real quick. I'm at a quick trip. Uh, let's grab a little snack. Um, it's almost time to go to my delivery order. But uh, I just want to show you this. So I just, this order just came out. It's a couple of freights that came out. Uh, go share order. Pick up some tires, $58. Like, there's some good orders coming out, but I'm kind of in limbo right now because, like, I don't have enough time to do an order before my delivery. So, anyways, uh, this one came out for go share. $149 to go to Corpus Christi. From, from where I'm at so I got to go 158 miles two and almost two a little over two hours to pick up and drive it back to San Antonio which to me is a good deal if I have something to take over there but um, those type of orders man I, I, I just I don't like doing those long runs for even if it's a hundred something dollars it's not worth it uh, for me staying local like you see how much I make today and I'm barely going to drive like probably like 40 miles today. Like I, I'm not putting no miles on my car. Uh, I mean, on my van and um, uh, no miles on my van and, uh, you know, less wear and tear. <clears throat> and, you know, I'm done in like, you know, three, four hours of work. I'm making more than that. So, you know, you take an order like that, you're going to be gone for at least four hours. Like that's at least a four hour, maybe five hours of a job just to make 149, it's not worth it. So anyway, I just want to show y'all that. That's the type of orders be coming out, but I just, I wish I had something to take over there and then come back. I'll definitely do that all day. All right, y'all, uh, I'm rehydrated. I'm ready to go to my delivered order. So just so you know, the customer, um, I invoiced the customer, so I charged her uh, my hourly rate Plus, uh, I did charge for the item itself, and then it was one flight of stairs. I usually charge about $25 per flight. So, um, it came out to $90. That was my charge. Uh, she did add a $7 tip, so I basically made $97 and some change uh, for that order. So, I would do that all day. I wish I had five more of those. So, um and also my wife just called me uh she has so she's doing my dealer's route and then she's also doing uh jump logistic tip treats so if you are on jump logistics uh they are very active well, at least in my area for tip treats that's easy money easy side hustle money uh, i just want to share that information with y'all so let me go get this catering order all right man i am here at the ingram mall same place i do my dealer's route and we picking up at this Outback Steakhouse right here. So I am on time. I am actually uh, about 10 minutes early. You know what, man? I'm about to ask this dude, how much does it cost to fix this? Uh, I got this crack in my windshield. So you, these are uh, little places right here. This Patsco, they uh, they're set up at pretty much every mall. A couple HEBs. So I'm gonna see how much they charge to fix um, this crack. Crack right here. I don't even know if you can see it from. It's small. Can you see it? Yeah, a little chip. Uh, so for each one, we normally charge 75, but I'm sure we can work on that. I right. think that's too much. Oh yeah. Okay. About 50 to 75, somewhere around there. Yeah, maybe. okay. So it lowers, it probably goes like 60. Oh, really? 60? Yeah. What, uh, is that? That's not bad though, huh? Uh, it's. Think it'll get worse or? Because uh, I've had it probably for about a couple months. It's definitely, it 
if, if inside the chip it's that, then that means it could be possible to spread. But, uh. Yeah, yeah. It's not just a scratch, that's, that's a. That's a chip. That's a chip? Yeah. Oh, okay. You think it's worth fixing or? I see. It is worth fixing, yeah. I would say, yeah. Okay. All right, y'all. So uh, for that crack right there, I've had that for some time. I think uh, I had showed this on a video before, but I've had it for quite some time, probably about two months, maybe, maybe three months. Um, so uh, he said uh, he said about 60 bucks. Uh, he said he'll go as low as 50, but um, I don't know what the price is for stuff like that. So maybe y'all know, but I, mean, I guess it sounds like a good deal. I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to debate if I want to fix it. He said it is worth fixing, but um, I don't know. I don't know. I should have went live so somebody could tell me. Should I get it fixed or not? But uh, they always going to be here, so I'll probably wait. See what's, what y'all say in the comments. Somebody let me know. Is it worth it? He said he'll go as low as $50. I told him I'll give him $60. Uh, he said for that, it's usually $75, but... Um, Yep, we'll see. Man, me and my partner loaded up. Uh, this is it. I still got room for more, but um, we we're about to head over, drop this off, and all right, man. So uh, my partner today is the uh, the same uh, young lady that helped me yesterday. Um, so she's been on delivery for four years. Um, she says she can get up to four orders a day. I didn't even know they they give you that many. So she said like you must be a top uh, delivery driver because. 
like for me to get one every day or every other day is like that means that they really trust you so anyways um she's cool man we actually uh, we was talking about uh you know working directly like doing our own catering stuff so she she with it so i gave her my business card that's something that we we both can research and look into and you never know we might start our own catering service um but anyways so i while we was there we, we had to wait about 10 minutes for the order so uh i asked her uh, i can't kind of gave her my scenario of what happened and she said yesterday uh was the first time that she did a multi-driver uh, pickup so she had never done one before so I knew she wasn't the one that was late <laughs> so anyways um, I asked her in that situation you know what what would she have done if you know exact same scenario uh, pickups at 11 you wait you wait the other driver still hasn't shown up it's 11 10 managers ask you to take everything because you know you don't want to lose a customer lose business and and deliver cold food so I'm like you know what would you have done and she basically said the exact same thing. She said, I would have took everything and uh, expect Deliver to pay me something. I mean, it doesn't have to be the whole amount, but pay me something for basically saving the day. You save the order. So, and you're you're also helping that other driver out. Uh, you're not really taking money from them. You're just, they weren't able to complete the order. You know, it would have been a disaster if, you know, I deliver hot food and the other driver show up 30 minutes later with cold food. So, um, pretty much, basically, yeah, she would have did the same thing. So, uh, I just want to, you know, I know everybody's different. Nobody, you can't please everybody. Nobody's going to agree 100%, but I just want to tell you, that's what we was talking about. So, anyways, let me go drop this off. All right, man, we are at the same drop off for the third time. I hope this is all week and next week. I think school starts not next week, but the week after. Keep them coming. All right, man, I'm all done. Uh, the customer, they paid, they spent uh, $2,700 on this order. So uh, definitely got to keep that in mind doing these catering orders. These people are spending a ton of money. Definitely want to give them hot food. So uh, everything worked out. Uh, as you can see, man, I did three orders with Delivered this week. It's an extra 200 something dollars going in my account for an easy, you know, 30 minute job. So uh anyways uh nothing pending right now it is 11 o'clock 
tomorrow I got two dollies set up so keeping my schedule you know filled up that's what it's about all right y'all don't be mad but I went home um, it's not even 12 o'clock so my wife says she's making five steaks with shrimp for lunch that's what we're having for lunch so I'm like I'm coming home I ain't missing out on that so uh, I only worked three hours today uh, I drove 50 miles that's it so um, my, I made $97 on that tasker job $92 on deliver catering order and my wife did my dealer's route for another $50 so that put me at $239 um, I was thinking about going out later tonight because I have not done my food uh, food deliveries in my other car I just got my Chevy Sonic back um, it's been gone for like I don't know how long so um, I know if you're not active on those apps, they might, you know, deactivate you. So, uh, I might do a couple DoorDash, uh, skip cart and favor just to stay active on it. Uh, possibly we'll see. I'm not going to record it though. Cause that's going to be boring, but, um, I'll try to get my earnings to about 300, at least 300 or more, uh, by the end of the day. Uh, the lady that wants me to help her, the lady that's going through a divorce, I talked about her in my last video. So I got the full story. Um, we have to go to her ex, her soon to be ex-husband's house first. Sneak in there between 10 and two while he's gone. Uh, well, I wouldn't say sneak in there because I mean, if it's her stuff, she has a right to it. So I really don't want to get in the middle of that. I kind of told her that. Um, I'm not going to do it as a side job because it's just too much risk. So I told her, um, you know, my partner, Steve, he has his own website and he has all the waiver fees and uh, waiver forms and all that stuff. So I was like, you're going to have to book us on his website so you can sign all these, you know, release liability forms and all that stuff. Um, so that's her option. If she books us, it's going to be through his website. So everything will be, you know, cover us. And then um, I still got more questions about, you know, this stuff that we're taking, like, because I don't want him. To be like, you know, hey, that was mine. You know, why they take that stuff? And so, I don't know, man. I'm still debating if I want to do it. Um, so that's up in the air. But we're supposed to pick up from the husband's house, like two items, and then two large items, and then she said twenty boxes, and then uh, drive to the storage unit, which is five miles from there. Pick up the rest of her stuff that I showed you the picture of, uh, all her stuff that's in there. That'll all fit in my van and then uh, drive all of that to her new house. So, I don't know, man. That's up in the air. So, anyways, other than that, uh, I'm going to end it here. Uh, I'll probably post again tomorrow. Hopefully, I have a good day, and uh, I will catch y'all on the next one.